Hey, what's up everybody? Hammerheart Metal Reviews here once again doing another discography countdown of one of my favorite bands. Today we are talking about the shirt I'm wearing, Exhumed. Gore metal, death metal, combination, grind and death put their own spin on it, really make their own unique sound, which they've called gore metal. I just fucking love these guys. Lyrics are sick. They're just like amazing, gruesome stuff, but the riffing is amazing. Matt Harvey, the mastermind behind this band, They've been at, like, I think they started when he was very, very young, and they've just put out a bunch of albums. They're all quality. Fucking love these guys. And I'm just gonna get right into it. They have eight albums. I'm gonna be going from my least favorite down to my favorite. So let's just start it off with number eight is their covers album, Garbage Days Re Regurgitated. Kind of a spin on the Metallica cover album, but they did their own thing with it. Just doing like some death metal versions of songs that aren't necessarily metal songs even sometimes, but it's still a pretty cool album. I'm just putting it last because it's a covers album, so it's not really that unique. But uh, a couple of my favorites on here are Trapped Under Ice, Metallica song. They just make it so goddamn fast. I don't even know how they play it this fast. I love the Metallica version. This, this doesn't do it any shame. This is a good fucking tune as well. Uh, also, the song Pay to Die by a band called Master. They, I really like the exhumed version on here. It's fucking good stuff. But yeah, the cover album's just coming last. Let's get into their actual albums now. Coming in at number seven is Death Revenge. This was kind of a concept album all focused around some murders in Scotland Yard. And I really like the concept. It, it works. This is a very melodic album by exhumed standards. This is one of their newer ones. And I think they just, they did what they set out to do here. It's not necessarily as fast and as gory as some of their other stuff, but it's very catchy. And the hooks and riffs in these songs are really fucking killer. My favorite tracks on here are Lifeless, Night Work. Uh, the title track, Death Revenge, is really cool too. The only reason it's coming out at 7 is because I like the other ones better, but this is by no means a bad fucking album. I would still give it a 7.5 out of 10. Let's move on to number six is Necrocracy. This is another like later stage exhumed album. Kind of got some nice melodic parts in there too, almost incorporating some melodic death metal in with their sound. But this one does it a little bit better than Death Revenge, I think. Um, some killer tracks on here, Coins Upon the Eyes, the title track Necrocracy is very fucking catchy too. Just a really catchy death metal album, which you can't necessarily always say, but Really killer stuff, vocals on here, Slay. Typical Exhumed stuff, just fucking amazing. Coming in at number five is their most recent, Horror. This is kind of a throwback to the early days of Exhumed. Very short songs, there's like a lot of songs that are only like a minute, minute and a half. Just fucking grind in your face, fast as you can fucking play. But it's really good, I fucking love it. Um, they have a cover for a song called Naked Screaming and Covered in Blood. That just makes me laugh. It, the video is fucking hilarious. But it treads too. It's a fucking killer song. Um, some more good songs in here. Unsound. Clawing is really fucking cool. Just overall, a great addition to the Exhumed catalog. And that's why it's coming into the top five. Coming in at number four is All Guts No Glory. This was their fourth album. And they'd had quite a bit of time in between the third and fourth album. We weren't even sure if Exhumed was coming back or what. So it seemed like they were done. But then they came back with this. And it's fucking solid. Really good fucking album. Um, best songs on here. The opening track has Hammer to Anvil. That fucking chorus. That's Hammer to Anvil. Do, 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 do. That's Hammer. Fucking blast beats going like crazy. Just fucking good stuff. Your Funeral, My Feast, another fucking killer track on here. Really, really good fucking album. I don't want to call it a comeback album because they never put out any bad albums, but a comeback in terms of we thought the band was extinct, and then they fucking came back, and they put out this quality fucking album. Into the top three now, and it's their first three albums, but which order am I going to put them in? Number three is the third album, Anatomy is Destiny. This is definitely the most technical Exhumed album. It almost seemed like they followed the same kind of career arc as Carcass, where the early ones are more like grindy, and then all of a sudden Carcass released Heartwork, which was like a totally different beast, just like melodic death metal, but didn't lose the fucking aggressiveness. And that's almost exactly what Exhumed did here. 
on this album, they almost brought in a heartwork type feel and so much fucking melody and these riffs are insane. Absolutely nuts. I don't know how the fuck they wrote this, but absolutely killer songs on here. Waxwork, The Matter of Splatter, one of the best Exhum songs ever. In the Name of Gore is fucking awesome. Just a really killer album. This could have easily been number one, but the top two hold more of a dear spot in my heart. So which one's two? Which one's one? Coming in at number two is the debut, Gore Metal. Name speaks for itself. They kind of fucking started this whole thing about Gore Metal, and they just own it. Like, fuck, the songs on here, I could go through almost every song. They're so goddamn good. Necromaniac, Open the Abscess, amazing. Oh, my God. Fucking Limb from Limb is one of my favorites. Casket Crusher is one of my favorites. That chorus is insane. Vegetarian, just hilarious, but also fucking killer song. And the closing track on here is just amazing too. Deadest of the Dead, absolutely amazing. I know they did a re-recorded version of this. I still prefer the original. It's just got the better vibe to it. It feels more authentic. I don't dislike the re-recording, but if I'm going to listen to this album, I'm listening to the original because that's what I grew up with. And that's what I fucking love. And this album is a fucking 9.5 or 10 out of 10. It's just that good. If you've never really heard Exhum, start with Gore Metal. Just a great fucking slab of death metal. And that leaves number one. And that is their second album called Slaughter Cult. Ooh, basically just expanded on what Gore Metal did. Even more in your face and fast songs. Just fucking killer, killer riffs. Like riff after riff after riff. This album is just a riff machine. On, upon first listen, you know, it's kind of hard to discern the riffs because it's almost like a muddy recording. But if, if you are into this kind of stuff and you listen to it more and more, you'll start hearing what's going on and you're like, whoa, these guys are so technical and so fucking crazy. Decrepit Crescendo, Forged in Fire, Forged in Flame, This Axe Was Made to Grind, Funeral Fuck, Vacant Grave. Just amazing fucking song after amazing song and I absolutely love this album. 10 out of 10. I do have a poster of Slaughter Cult down there. It's fucking awesome. One of my favorite death metal albums and definitely deserves a listen. Anyways, let me know down below. What's your favorite Exhumed album? What's your least favorite album? Click on like, click on subscribe. Hammerheart Metal Reviews out.